Okay, um, classic computer wargaming here. Uh, Battleground Ardennes. Um, I'm looking at, for the first time, uh, scenario number two on the brink. Um, uh, pretty um, conflicted on, on what to say. Um, I, I wish I could just say I'd, I don't want to say anything and jump right into the gameplay, but... Um, yeah, but I still feel like I've got to say a little bit, so I'll try to say it quickly. Um, I remember this game and the series um, being on top of the uh, wargaming world, uh, top of the computer wargaming world at the very end of the 90s. Um, that's when I remember remember them. Remember, um, um, yeah, I guess, noticing them. Um, I didn't play them at the time. Um, I had some interest, but I uh, just didn't just didn't get around to it. Um, so I never played them. So I was quite elated when I um, figured out recently that I could uh, run this Battleground Ardennes um, and play it now, having never uh, played it before, having never experienced the series before, the Battleground series. Um, and I was looking for something computer, something World War II, something at this scale preferably Germans and Americans, so it was perfect. Um, okay, so happy to have had this opportunity to uh, to experience this classic. <laughs> having said that, uh, real quickly, um, having played a number of different scenarios a number of different times, um, I am noticing some really uh, hard to understand, hard to hard, hard to comprehend um, outcomes. <laughs> um, that's all I'm going to say because I think they're going to come up again. Um, I have no idea what uh, the designer, developer, whatever was was thinking. Um, but the reason why I'm saying this and the reason why I'm back again is that I'm trying to keep an open mind and I'm trying to figure out what the idea is here. <laughs> but some of the outcomes are just, it, to say the least, nothing that I would expect. Okay. And I think that they're going to come up again. So there's no point in talking about what I've seen. Uh, and of course, this is only the last couple of weeks trying this, this classic game. For the first time so okay um, so this is what I'm doing um, well I already selected semi-automatic AI for the American side um, full AI and fog of war for the German side so now we're gonna start uh, the scenario starts here with the defensive fire phase uh, we see it's uh, 25 turns um, I'm probably just gonna get started with the scenario and I doubt I'm gonna go through this scenario all the way but let's see um, okay, so we have firing unit. Okay, so a machine gun platoon firing on a rifle platoon. Okay, so out of that village onto my forces adjacent there. Okay, no effect. Um, some more fire out of that village. Ooh, uh, reduced by one and retreated. Okay, that is okay. That's nothing major there offensive fire phase okay so I gotta take a look at my forces okay we have a headquarters company 110th uh, infantry regiment okay they are in this uh, town they're highlighted in red uh, let's see let's see if I can okay so Clairvaux that's the town there Clairvaux okay um, well I guess the headquarters platoon, I guess I'm, I'm going to give them an order to defend the town for now. Well, let's figure out where those objectives are. Um, objectives. No, that's not. I want them on the map, right? So, what? which one is it? It's funny that this, old, that this game at this point didn't have the... Huh. Didn't have the... um. There they are, okay. Didn't have the little tooltip pop-ups, or at least 
not this version. All right, so we have three, four different objectives. So the heart of Clairvaux is the is the objective area. So we'll have them defend there. Okay. Uh, I guess Alpha Company first the one tenth. Okay, it's not on the map yet. Bravo Company. Okay, Bravo Company is the one that took that fire from from Marnock. Okay, Marnock. Okay. Ooh, we're sitting on a fifty-point objective. So, doesn't it make sense to give it an, um, extreme defense? There we go. Charlie Company's not on the map yet. Battery Bravo. Okay, 109th Field Artillery Battalion. Well, they're sitting on an, on an objective too. Okay. Um, all right, so Company B, th uh, 630th Tank Destroyer Battalion. Where are they? Oh, there they are. So again, they're highlighted in red. So I can highlight the um, hex there. Hmm. Interesting, I don't see the the um, organization down here. Okay. All right. Um, well, they can. Oh, <laughs> why is the why is the truck way up there? Or oh, half tracks actually. Okay, uh, all right. Well, I'm going to give them an extreme defense of that objective as well. Um, Company B, AAA Battalion. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Um, there. Okay, yeah, there's a anti aircraft half tracks, uh, the quad 50s. Okay. Seems to be a maneuver force. Oh, so so size one, I'm assuming means that one. Uh, so it is my maneuver force. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna experiment here. Tell them to defend that high ground. Let's see if that it works high. Not sure about that. Okay, so I've given all my orders from the order dialog box. All right, uh, American assault phase. Okay, nothing. Yes, American mechanized phase. Nothing. Okay, German prep fire phase. Turn two. Ooh. Okay, well, what is firing though? Firing unit at unknown location. Okay, 150 millimeter howitzers. Targeting my infantry there in the open. Oh, hey. All right, reduced by one, retreated. Reduced by two, disrupted. 60 millimeter mortars and rifle platoons. So they are scattering my infantry. Ouch. Oh, again. Uh, disrupted. Ouch. Right onto my. Defending force there outside Marnock. Um, no effect, no effect. Indirect fire results, okay. No effect, no effect, no effect. Okay. Oof. Uh, Panzer Grenadier platoon firing on my uh, my disrupted rifle platoon there. No effect, okay. German movement phase, okay. What do we have? Wow. They are piling into the village there. Okay. Ooh, more infantry, German infantry show up on my right flank from that def defending position. Okay. All right, so American defensive fire phase turn two. Huh, my rifle platoon fired at the Panzer Grenadiers in the woods there after having run from indirect fire. 
and my half tracks firing at the Panzer Grenadier platoon in the village there, and an objective, I should say. Um, no effect. Okay. More fire, rifle platoon, Panzer Grenadier platoon, no effect. More fire, no effect. Um, machine gun platoon against the Panzer against a Panzer Grenadier platoon, no effect. All right. German offensive fire phase. Firing out of the Marnach objective there on my infantry. Reduced by two and disrupted. Ooh, a lot of my force is getting disrupted there. Uh, no effect. No effect. This is grim. German assault. Ooh. Assaulting my position. So are they coming out of the... I guess they're coming out of the village. Assaulting my defenders. Yep. So. So I guess... Okay, no effect. No effect, no effect, no effect. Attacker. Attacker's no effect except for one Panzer Grenadier platoon disrupted. Okay, interesting. Is that the effect of my having done an extreme defense? I figure out why this is happening this way. German mechanized phase. Alright. American prep fire phase. Okay. 